Tracy Ryan, one of your eXp Illinois managing brokers, here to do a short demonstration on using Payload. Payload is the new portal within SkySlope for accepting earnest money deposits. Now, what you have to do is create your SkySlope file. Whether you are the listing agent or the buy side agent, you will start with your pending SkySlope file and go to the commissions tab here, okay? And once you are in the commissions tab, you will scroll down to the deposit section here and you will see over here on the right is this request deposit button. Okay, simple as that. We're gonna click on the request deposit button and up pops this window where you will have the property address already entered in the buyer's name as provided to SkySlope. Now, if you are the buyer's agent and you entered the buyer's email address in their contact information, it will populate here. Otherwise, you will have to enter an email address for whoever you are going to send this to. And in most cases, it'll be the buyer's agent's email. I'm going to enter my own so that we can um, see what it looks like. And then the deposit amount. Now, had you already entered the deposit amount in the commissions tab, it would automatically populate here, but it's just as easy for us to enter it right there. And it's $5,000. And then we will click submit. And as soon as we click submit, we will see in the commissions tab a place where it says that the, re the um, request has been sent it's still thinking about it. And then if you look over here um, on the right side of your um, deposit section, it says request sent to buyer. Now, eventually there'll be even more things. You, you can click on where it says um, see status and things like that. But for now, you can see that we sent a request to the buyer. Now, if we go over to the email, we will see that what the email looks like to the person who receives it. And the buyer's agent could just forward this email to their client to pay. There has been a, one or two instances where the buyer agent said, I can't forward it, it's not forwarding. And that's probably something within their email settings. You could say, hey, give me a different email address and I'll send it again, no big deal. But the buyer will then click on the pay now button. And what they see when they do that is the payload window. Okay, and this is, so this is what they will see when they go to um, pay. And when they click continue to payment, they will have um, a window here where they can enter their account number and they always have to enter it twice and then the routing number. So on your checking um, account, there'd be at the bottom of the checks, you'd see the routing number and the accounting and the account number. And that is all they need to enter for their bank, their own address, and then, you know, double check the amount and then they click pay. And it's just an ACH deposit. They can't use um, certain accounts that don't have routing numbers and account numbers. We've run into that once or twice where someone had a special brokerage account they wanted to pay out of and they couldn't. So it has to be a typical banking account that has ACH access. And then once that has happened, you will be able to see the status of that payment over back here in your commissions tab. It takes a little bit, but eventually SkySoap will change this status where you'll be able to um, click on check status and resend. So if someone says, I didn't get it, or now we need to pay additional earnest money, or I need you to send the request somewhere else, it is not a problem. You can just send the request again. You could send the request multiple times. All that matters is how many times someone paid. And once that receipt is available because the buyer paid, see, now we can see manage requests here. You can see what that looks like here, okay? And we can click on manage requests and we could send again. We can request another payment. We can request another one simply because they say they didn't get it or they weren't able to forward it and they wanna give you a different email address. Whatever the case, you can send another request, not a problem. Now, once that payment has been made, you'll be, go, you'll be able to go into your documents tab, see a receipt here and assign it to the checklist under earnest money receipt simple as that. Okay. If you have any questions, please come see us on the broker floor or email us. Thank you.